one major piece of advice to new drivers, uh, and that is don't overreact to things. Just stay cautious, steady, and focused, and look at the long-range goal. Uh, don't jump from company to company too quick. Just, just go ahead and, and look down the road and see what's best for you and, and steady as she goes. When coming on to BMAC and signing up with them, I noticed very emphatically safety. They were very, very safety oriented, um, which is very good because we all need to be. Um, and if you're, if you're careless out there, it's going to cause you problems everywhere in your career. So BMAC enforces it and, and makes us toe the line. and it, it works out okay. On a pre-trip inspection, um, basically I'm looking for everything that basically a DOT officer is going to look at. If he stops me, what he's going to be able to see. I need to look at every possible thing that I can see. And then uh, brakes, you know, I mean, there's no sense if, if the brakes aren't enough lining there or, or if there's not enough tread on a tire. If there's a light out, that's a simple, simple fix. Go ahead and get that done. So pre-trip is basically making sure that everything that is visible, easy visible, correct it. As far as not getting any tickets or, or any points on my driving, I have been very careful to try to keep myself within, a, I might be a mile an hour over the speed limit, but I'm not, I'm not purposely trying to speed. Uh, when DOT pulls me, if I've ever made a mistake, I'm polite. Uh, you know, if I've made an accident somewhere, missed something, they, they're, they're understanding most of the time too. But, uh, you know, you're not in a race out there. What I like with, with BMAC that I've been happy with, the discounts that I get from them, it, it, that they're able to get nationwide, those are great. Um, the, the freight system they have of being able, they're getting a lot more connections everywhere, and that way, pretty much wherever we're at, we're going to be able to get loaded and keep moving. I don't sit very much at all. Of course, you're going to always have to call in with paperwork. Problems will arise where something happens. You need help. Uh, they've always been real easy to access. Everybody in the office there, uh, very pleasant people. There's not a cross-sounding person that I've ever talked to on the phone. And uh, even if it's the middle of the night and you've got major problems, you, it, I've been able to get hold of somebody. As far as getting back home, um, you know, to, to, you know, your off time, there's always uh, loads going to where, you know, my home is. Um, I live in Florida and there's always easy access to freight to get me back home. So I can always, at a, almost a moment's notice, say, I need to get home and they'll get me home. I, I like to, uh, when I'm driving, I, I think a lot of times I don't even have the radio on. I, I listen, I have complete silence. I enjoy looking around and uh, seeing some of the sights. And it gives me time to concentrate on what may be going on back home or whatever. And, you know, traveling like I do around the country, I get to see a lot of things. Um, I, I've been in places that uh, a lot of people dream about going to Niagara Falls or in New York, downtown New York, or out to Grand Canyons. And you go right by these areas and then you say, I'm coming back, I'm going to do this, I'm going to actually make this vacation. And I have done that actually, and taken my son with me. And growing up, I was gone a lot and he did not get to see me as much. I didn't have quite as good a, a relationship there, but we've since have, have done real well. And now, as a matter of fact, I am going to be grandma here coming up. My first uh, grandchild, and it's the first on either side of the family there for him or her. So it's really a special, and we know it's a little girl. And we're excited about that and looking forward to a lot of time there.